All right, guys, so let's continue on um, the Bible. We are on Exodus 10, I believe. Yeah, Exodus 10, let me get my highlighter ready and my pen. So Exodus 10. So I think um, Pharaoh's going to let them go soon. But he, remember, he chases them into the wilderness. So Exodus 10, And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I might show these my signs before him, and that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son and of thy son's son what things I have wrought in Egypt and my signs which I have done amongst them, that ye may know how that I am the Lord. This time God says, He's going to harden his heart again, just so thou I mayest tell in thy ears of thy son, so that way you can tell, you know, tell your sons and sons and sons that who, who I am. And Moses and Aaron came in unto Pharaoh and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Let my people go that they may serve me, else if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring the locusts into thy coast, and they shall cover the face of the earth, that one cannot be able to see the earth. Okay. I, I thought maybe this translation was using like lice or the flies as a substitute for locusts, but I guess locusts were still in here. And they shall cover the face of the earth that one cannot be able to see the earth, and they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped, which remaineth unto you from the hail, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field. So flies, they eat stuff. I mean, if there's so many of them, they probably eat a bunch of shit. But the locusts, they eat stuff, you know. They're like moths, so the locusts are tearing shit up. Uh, and they shall fill thy houses and the houses of all thy servants and the houses of all the Egyptians, which neither thy fathers nor thy fathers' fathers have seen since the day that they were upon the earth unto this day. They shall fill the houses, you know, something that they've never seen before. You would think that like, the lice and the flies and the frogs would be in the water turning to blood. You think they would be like, what the hell's going on? It's like how today we're worried about fucking electricity being, you know, our electricity power sources you know <laughs> to be fucked you know and he turned himself and went out from pharaoh and pharaoh's servants said unto him how long shall this man be a snare unto us like how long is he going to be fucking with us let these let the men go that they may serve the lord their god and knowest thou knowest thou not yet that egypt is destroyed like don't you know we're not destroyed yet like but all these shit's been happening like let them go and Moses and Aaron were brought again unto Pharaoh, and he said unto them, Go serve the Lord your God, but who are they that shall go? And Moses said, so I want to so write that down. Like Moses' people, like let the men go. Knowest thou, thou, knowest thou not yet that Egypt is destroyed? So the Pharaoh's own people are saying this. Yeah, so Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's people... Pharaoh's people plead. Three P's. Pharaoh's people plead. Pharaoh's people plead. Three P's. Moses. Anyway, so. Uh, who, who, who shall go? And Moses said, We will go with our young and with our old, with our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds will, will we go, for we must hold a feast unto the Lord. And he said unto them, Let the Lord be so with you as I will let you go and your little ones. Look to it, for evil is before you. Not so. Go now ye that are men and serve the Lord, for thou... For that you did desire, and they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Egypt, and eat every herb of the land, even all that the hail hath left. And Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day, and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. So I guess Pharaoh was like, and he said unto them, Let the Lord be so with you, as I will let you go, and your little ones look to it, for evil is before you. Not so. Go now, ye that are men, and serve the Lord. Like he didn't want, he didn't want all the people to go. And the locusts went up over all the land of Egypt and rested in all the coast of Egypt. Very grievous were they before them. There were no such locusts as they. Neither after them shall be such, for they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened. And they did not eat every herb of the land and all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left. And they did eat all the herb of the land and all the fruit that, of the trees which the hail had left. And there remained not any green thing in the trees or in the herbs of the field throughout all the land of Egypt. So they're eating all their shit. The Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste and he said, I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Okay, so now he's 
proclaiming God. Now therefore forgive, I pray thee my sin only this once, and entreat the Lord your God, that he may take away from me this day, this death only. And he went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord, and the Lord turned a mighty strong west wind, which took away the locusts and cast them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the coast of Egypt, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel go. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. What does he, what does he mean by it may be felt? I'm not sure. May be felt. Um... But all the children of Israel had light in their dwelling. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwelling. So only Israel had light. And Pharaoh called upon Moses and said, Go ye, serve the Lord, only let your flocks and your herds be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. And Moses said, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that, meet, that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Our cattle also shall go with us. But Pharaoh didn't want the cattle to go. There shall not be a hoof be left behind, for thereof must we take to serve the Lord our God, and we know not with what we must serve the Lord until we come thither. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said unto him, Get thee from me, take heed to thyself, see my face no more, for in that day thou seest my face, thou shalt die. <laughs> you think you will, that's pride and stubbornness. And Moses said, Thou hast spoken well, I will see thy face again no more. So Pharaoh said, Alright, I'm not going to see your face no more then. So I think, I don't know if they're going to escape somewhere. I don't know. They're going to end up going to the wilderness. I think they're going to go and Pharaoh's going to be like, oh shit, I made a mistake by letting them go. All these signs and he still, I don't know, he still thinks he's greater than the guy that's creating these signs. I don't know. My heart is feeling tired and like convicted, I guess. I don't know. But I'm also feeling tired too, so. But I'm also convicted. Feeling a little convicted right here reading this. So anyway, we got darkness, God, God, and darkness in, in chapter 10, but in the beginning are the locusts, locusts, uh, Pharaoh's people plead, Pharaoh's heart's still hardened though, so, yeah, that's Exodus 10, y'all, peace.